Welcome to the Here's Long, your one-stop shop for all things dark culture nonsense. I'm Aaron. I'm Phil. And I'm Cole. We slum it hard so you don't have to. So this Aaron was guy. making... <laughs> M- more inappropriate hand gestures. No, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, you were. You knew exactly what you're doing. I said zero, negative no, one, negative no. two. <laughs> I was just counting, continuing the countdown. Uh huh. Past yeah. zero. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the problem. I believe. I honestly, I swear to you, look me in the eye. I was just counting down. I mm-hmm. didn't mean anything by it. So this guy, Amish guy. This actually, this joke was told to me by an Amish man I don't believe you. named Yoder. When we were, when I was a, uh, did he call his kid Baby Yoder? Our church. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, he didn't have kids. He was like fifty in his fifties, probably, and he was like looking to get married to a, a very young woman. Hey, but, that's um, super cool. Super cool yeah. of him. Uh, very chill guy. So he told yeah. us this joke. He said this Amish guy got married, and they're him this him and his new bride are, are riding to town in their buggy being pulled by the horse right and the horse veers off in into a ditch and they he have to pull it out and so he gets off the buggy and he goes to the looks at the horse right in the face and he says one and he gets back in the buggy pulls him back on the road and he starts driving a little while later the horse veers off again and he he gets same thing happens this time he gets out and he looks at the horse and he says two and the bride's like this is weird but she doesn't say anything so he gets back in they keep driving down happens again the third time this time the (laughs) the amish man reaches in the back of the buggy and he pulls out a shotgun he says he looks at the horse and he says three then he shoots the horse in the head (laughs) this is a really stupid joke though an amish person told me Remember this. Remember that. He gets yeah, back. They don't the have horse. the internet. They they didn't he get to watch back. like Eddie Murphy Raw or whatever. Like. Yeah. He gets back in the the buggy and the the wife, the young wife, is like astonished and she's like, "Why did you just shoot the horse?" And he just looks at her and he says, "One." <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow! No oh wonder that God. guy liked that joke so much. The guy <laughs> looking for an underage wife. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> so I believe it when you tell me that that maybe Amish people don't treat animals the best. Yeah, I it's weird. Like <laughs> the stuff you learn just from like comments on videos and like <laughs> right, like on TikTok. It's like, probably like oh, some heart. It's probably like some heartwarming video of like, oh, these, you know, like all these. Amish people, this guy's horse was going up to auction and they all agreed not to bid on it or whatever. And then oh, crazy. every comment is like, oh, he probably beat that horse to death or whatever. <laughs> Have you seen that video where the dude, the goat is running and the lady just like hits the goat in the head with a baseball bat? No. So <laughs> is it awesome? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. She just like full Jeez. swing, like knocks him in the head. And the, <laughs> I was looking at the comments and people are like, uh, how could you do that? That's terrible. And every time someone said that, someone else was like, "Oh, you must not have goats. Sometimes you have to do that, or they'll just like <laughs> keep ramming you." See, I love that. Yeah. That's like so. That's so great because you would never know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's very normal goat owning behavior, apparently. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. That's okay, so, funny, so dude. I I've been seeing this video of a man trying to Is feed a, a very large goat. Or are you keeping it casual? Phil, be serious for <laughs> once in your life. Um, uh-huh. and uh, the the goat is completely just wrecking this guy, and it's <laughs> it's like a supercut of the and what the the greatest thing is is that the man every every shot is the man bringing in food. And before he can pour it into like the feeding trough, this goat, the second the man turns his back on the goat, <laughs> this goat just full speed just just destroys this guy. Like 
He's like, <laughs> and it's not like, it's not like, hey, I want you to know who's boss. It's like the goat seems like he's trying to like really damage Kill this him. man. Like, yeah, yeah it's like he's aiming for goat. like, he's aiming for like the center of this guy's back, like his, like every time. And the guy is just getting just tossed all over the place like a freaking rag doll. And um, it, there's a multiple, multiple clips of the same man just getting Demolished. freaking pummeled by a really good sized goat, like easily 120, 120 pounds plus. I mean, a, with a lot, just a lot of speed. And uh, like <laughs> one, the the guy, his head like yanks back like <laughs> from the force. And it looks like he, it's like, dude, that probably hurt really bad, but it looks like he might have neck jam damage because of how like hard his neck. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know if I could find it. Cole, uh, Cole, are you looking for it right now? I'm trying to. Well, there's that guy. Who's the, who's the comedian who does the voices? I was just going to say Tony Baker did just Tony did Baker. One. He's did he one. do that? It's like yes. it's a newer one of his though. Yes. Because he has those he has the goat ones where he goes cram. Yeah, exactly. And, those are and, and that's what he's doing. He's doing that with this guy. And cram. it is <laughs> cram. <laughs> Google Tony Baker and uh... It's funny it's funny when it's like tiny little baby goats and they've already got the instinct to like butt. Yeah, I saw one the other day like, of a goat that was like butting his mom's ankle or whatever. Yeah, and it's like, like this the, little cute not thing. Not like a human mom or whatever. Right. And the lady's like, knock it off. And the goat's like, dunk, dunk, dunk. And that's like. When I say adorable. mom, I mean an adult woman, human. That's, I call them moms. Yeah, the mom. mother. Uh, but like, when they get like freaking big. Yeah, they're nuts. Goats, man. Can't live with them. <laughs> Can't beat them with a baseball bat. <laughs> okay, Ironic, yeah. you can actually beat him with a baseball bat. Okay, guys, I just looked up Tony Baker, and I'm going to send you one of the videos that popped up. Oh, okay. And it's <laughs> I don't even know what the audio is, but the video is problematic. This is an undersized horse, but with a certain oversized appendage apparently oh that is disturbing yes so guys do either of you know who lucius is the band um <laughs> it sounds familiar it's why brutal, do i know right? why do i know that name i mean i've probably talked about him okay because they're one of my favorite bands are they it's too women who sing and play i don't know it's funny this last record they put out was kind of disco-y mm -hmm. and so a lot of the songs they were singing normally they stand like in the center of the stage kind of facing each other on keyboards and then there's three or four guys around them who are, are like the there's two there's a guy who plays guitar pretty much the whole time and a guy who plays the drums the whole time and then there's another guy who plays who kind of plays a bunch of different instruments mm -hmm. um they've added a member to the band this big old dude. He's a black guy. Not that that matters, but he's the bassist and he's freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. So I went and saw him on Saturday. And oh, nice. Nice dude. I was like singing along, getting like choked up on some of the songs uh -huh. surrounded by middle-aged lesbians. You know, that's the yeah, majority yeah. of their demographic. There's this one song where they come out and they came out to the audience for part of the encore. And it's this, this venue that only holds 600 people and they came out in the middle and then had everyone sit down, like <laughs> cross-legged. So I have like this lady, I don't know, like basically sitting in my lap, you know, just yeah, cause yeah. like, what else are you going to do? Yeah. There's it's, you take up way less space standing than sitting cross-legged. Exactly. Like it doesn't, it doesn't work, you know? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it was an amazing show. They had these rhinestone or like sparkly, like disco ball, uh, keytars. Uh, yes. two lead singers but they were largely ornamental <laughs> they were not huh. they, they were not playing much on them they do both play keyboards normally but they were more focused on their like minimal dance moves and stuff but <laughs> but they 
they're kind of they both have like amazing voices and they do all kinds of amazing harmonies and stuff like that that's kind of their that's kind of their hallmark that sounds cool and then this saturday i'm going to see a fire inside fire inside Mm. uh, afi as they are known oh yeah 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 fire inside what so do you guys think i should take uh my 11 year old son to see afi yeah does he like them i was playing it for him today he he doesn't like he's not that familiar with them oh turns out i feel like it, there's no reason why you shouldn't yeah do you want him do you want your son to become a vegan um, I have no opinion on it. He's already like no. a super picky eater, so it's not like it'd make our lives any harder. <laughs> He's allergic to peanuts, so like, it's already a pain in the butt. This you is know? this is Johnny. Is that his name? This is Johnny. Yeah. Jo- you want him to start calling himself Johnny Havoc? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text you. So my buddy that I go to all the concerts with, he texted me before the Lucius concert and said, "I was looking at some recent concert videos and." I think we should have worn sparkly outfits. We're going to feel out of place. <laughs> so I sent him the video of I Heard a Voice. AFI did, uh, after December Underground, they did a tour and like recorded a DVD and a CD and everything. So he said, is eyeshadow going to be a thing at the show? Will I feel left out if I'm not wearing eyeshadow? Maybe. And I said he'll be fine without it, but he should wear his fishnet sleeves with the thumb <laughs> holes cut out, you know. Heck yeah. Those are important. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, essential. Yeah. It'll I wonder what AFI like have you guys are you guys even into AFI? I mean not Am I into really. AFI? No. <laughs> I I think they're fine. I've never like disliked them, but I've never gotten into them really. I had a friend in high school who was really into their uh, All Hallows EP. Yep. It's really good. I mean, it's four but songs. I was, like... I was like a big Misfits fan, so I think I disliked AFI because, like, this is not sound the same. Because it covered as, Halloween? It was the Misfits. Yeah, yeah. This version sucks. <laughs> Didn't Misfits cover Total Immortal? Did they? I thought so. Maybe. Which was like a... At the time, I thought, I thought it was a Misfits. Like, I thought that album was meant to be like some misfits covers you know oh, the total like immortal is an misfits. afi song yeah i was not aware of that ever happening but i feel like afi and the misfits are like like they go together right like it's not you know like obviously afi is like they are like the misfits were a huge influence on them yeah yeah especially like early on yeah um I've, i'm look. it looks like maybe the offspring covered total immortal oh that's what i'm thinking of the misfits and offspring you know they're basically the same band essentially uh, two sides of the same band. i i really liked the misfits in 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 high school and <laughs> i find them hard to listen to now for the most part (laughs) yeah they kind of i don't know they try a little bit too hard right yeah i mean i guess i still like them from time there's that but it's not they're not like a band i listen to like like there's that video that somebody made asking like what's the wildest oh yeah first lyric of a song and if (laughs) and uh it did last caress you know Uh man i'm trying to think though there was another there's another really funny one. I mean, there's the al- there's Alkaline Trio as well. You're like, you think the first line's bad. You should hear the second line. <laughs> yeah, that's what the comment <laughs> said. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, what Alkaline Trio song? The shade oh, can radio. like a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Which honestly, I'm I'm still. I don't but know. That's metaphorical, so it's like it's like like a dog pooping razor blades yeah the dog's not yeah misfits is just like i got something to say i killed your baby baby. (laughs) (laughs) which is very much like the type of thing that when you're in high school you're like man that is cool that guy just said (laughs) that and he doesn't (laughs) even go to jail (laughs) (laughs) the coolest guy ever 
I like to I like to start a song with I got something to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it's very like one. we're listening. We're already listening. You know, yeah, we're it's like a rap. Here. It's we like either a rap press, lyric. We either pe- press play or my name is Glenn. We Dancing paid money to, to stand here and listen <laughs> to you with my baby today. <laughs> did you did I saw this TikTok? So that's that's like a trope that they use on Comedy Bang Bang a lot. The my name is blah blah, uh, and I'm here yeah. to say. And I saw a TikTok about it, and apparently, it, like, it originated with oh, the Fruity yeah. Pebbles commercial. Uh, yeah, and that yeah. is that is still the line. That's the line I've always sang in my head. I love Fruity Me Pebbles too. in a major way. Yes. So yes. like, I feel like a lot of people actually knew that it, or like, that is the thing that it reminded people a lot of people of already. People yeah, of a certain age, for sure. Yes. But people, I, maybe people. I think maybe the thing is people thought like that was imitating exactly they thought that was rough yeah which it kind of was but not as not as like directly directly, like here is the exact you know yeah i love fruity pebbles in a major way that's barney rebel yeah name's barney rebel and i'm here to say i'm not i'm not that big on fruity pebbles my wife the other thing pebbles in a major way (laughs) the other line i like to quote is uh i was walking down the street just the other day you know (laughs) whenever someone says they're walking down the street you say just the other day what's that what's that so i don't even Jos- know oh. josiah um kathy it's funny that you say that Aaron, because kathy bought fruity pebbles uh the other day um was she walking down the street <laughs> josiah was looking at the box and he goes hey dad how come lots of kid cereals have one uh character but fruity pebbles has like a whole like family Oh yeah, on yeah. there, <laughs> and I go, oh well, it's a it's a cartoon, and he goes, wait, what? Fruity Pebbles is a cartoon, and I go, the Flintstones. It's like it was a, <laughs> and he goes, the the cereal had its own cartoon. <laughs> You're like, well, I go, the cartoon no. had its own cereal. No, this the cartoon existed for a long time, and then they made a cereal about it. And he goes, yeah, made a wait, cereal wait, 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 wait. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I like what he's like. Wait, 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 wait. What's the cartoon about? And I go, well, and I and I'm like pointing and I'm naming all the characters. And he's like, how do you know their names? And I go, it was like a very famous there was cartoon. Only like four cartoons at the time. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. And <laughs> and also, there's it, only like four characters. And then yeah, yeah. and then I started thinking about it. And I was like, okay, this was it was like a. It wasn't like a Saturday morning. I, it was like the the Simpsons. It was like on at like at night. Like was it, it was in my mind. It was a Saturday morning. I remember it Saturday morning too. I watched it when I was a child. I watched it Saturday oh, morning. You saw, we, I saw the reruns. You saw the originals. No, that's when you had like the the rabbit ears on top, and you were like tune in Tokyo. Well, it's like it's, it's based on like moonlighting or and like. What yes, the like the honeymooners, right? The, the honeymooners, honeymooners yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe that's what you're thinking of, Phil. Maybe you're you were watching the honeymooners when you were. I don't know, Aaron. Google it. Um, I'm looking it up right now. Google what? So here's what's so what's like crazy air, is air times of like, dude. The more, okay, season one. Guess what year? Sorry, it's like sixty something, right? Fifty eight. I mean, sixty. Like you guys, I thought it was a lot newer than that. I, I did too, but I I would have ruined it for me. Seventies until he said sixties, and then I. So it said it was first aired September thirtieth, nineteen sixty. Now I just got to find Jeez. out what date that is. It's September thirtieth. What day of the mm. week it is? Ooh, uh, you know what's it was weird? Friday. Though? It was a Friday. What the crap, dude? Is everybody's Friday sitting at night? home. Yeah, still though. Everybody's sitting at home. When did it? Waiting for. Yeah. Yeah, get that. So it Cubans was to shoot us with missiles. Friday at from eight thirty to nine p.m. <laughs> yeah, this strange. says this says it was the, the first primetime animated series. Okay. So, when I was explaining the plot to my son, yeah, what 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 did you explain? He was like that. That was a sh-, like he was like it, it was blowing his mind. <laughs> yeah, that this was like, that how this did was, that qualify? Yeah, <clears throat> and. This is the this is a show that it's a show about like, nothing. That and I told him it it was on at nighttime, like grown ups watched it. 
And he was like, why? <laughs> yeah, like cartoons. Like, why weren't they kids, watching Grey's Anatomy? Kids at first. <clears throat> it's that's a weird thing to think about too. Like, I mean, I guess not all animated things are for kids now. But it feels but like kind of. I mean, it, it used to be even more so that animated things are only for kids. That's what I'm saying. Like in like <clears throat> when we were kids, I think that was really the thing. But like even the early animated Disney movies, like those weren't kids movies they just were movies that were animated but that's but that's why they were unique that's why they were like every like it was a big deal when like cartoon network came out and they started making cartoons that were more geared for adults right yeah and then adult swim after that i guess yeah but what i'm saying is like at first they weren't for kids and then they totally were for kids and now they're like kind of both i yeah you're saying it's remember, weird that Josiah would be so. No, I'm just saying it's surprised. weird to think about like the fact that originally they were not for kids like at all. They just existed like yeah, like as a genre of film or television. Right. Like, I, is that the true though? I mean, yeah. Like the like Snow White was not a kids movie. Like that just was like a movie so. that Disney made, and it happened. It was eh. like animated, but it wasn't like this is for children specifically. Yeah, let me look it up. I'm gonna I don't know if I, <laughs> what are you going to look up? I will Snow tell you White this for children. What Snow White for children? <laughs> <laughs> I will t- just look up Careful. Adult Snow White. Just look that. No, up. no, 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 no. Snow Adult <laughs> version of Snow White. <laughs> um, I uh, I will say this. There was a period of my life oh, that's like oh. I got something to say. I was em- I was very embarrassed that I liked cartoons, and I didn't want anyone to know that what, I still enjoy cartoons. How old were you? Uh, like twenty three? No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh. It was like later grade school into junior high. I still it was like, dude, cartoons are awesome, but I did I was ashamed to feel that way which which cartoons were you watching back then animaniacs i hope see i'm just oh you're older though i'm just old enough that 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 i want to say that was like high school i could be wrong because it came out when i was in elementary school but by the time i was like i was maybe a sophomore or junior in high school i was like you know what cartoons are freaking cool like I like cartoons, but it actually, wait a minute. No, that's not fair because I know for a fact when I was a sophomore, that was when Beavis and Butthead and Ren and Stimpy were freaking huge. Yeah. And then it was very obvious that like, no, like everybody likes cartoons. And then like Futurama and King of the Hill came out. Yeah. But before Beavis and Butthead and Ren and Stimpy. Those were like edgy, like teenage cartoons. Yeah. They weren't like. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, Simpsons was like, but also Sim- like I, Simpsons doesn't count either. I think. Um, yeah, as what? Simpsons is as like a like nobody nobody thought Simpsons was only for kids, right? Nobody thought Simpsons was uncool. In fact, you could argue as a as a young evangelical that it was extra cool because all of our parents were like, "Nope, you can't watch that." <laughs> so, what cartoons were you watching that you were like embarrassed of? I, like the the cartoons that I watched when I was younger that I still thought were cool, like freaking Thundercats and GI Joe. Oh, so like Saturday yeah, that is kind cartoons. of embarrassing. No, it's not. Those shows are cool. <laughs> Transformers. But that's why I'm like every Transformers the movie. Okay, Transformers the movie, 1988, the animated movie. You definitely were not the only kid in your class that was watching those cartoons every week. I'm not saying I. I was, yeah, but he but, thought he was, but I thought I was, and nobody was talking about, like, oh, did you see? It's yeah, like they were just talking about making out with girls, <clears throat> yeah, or like playing sports. You nice. know what it was, actually, Aaron. That's a good. That actually makes me think. Around the time when you stop playing on the playground, like. Hey, let's play Ninja Turtles. Let's play uh, GI Joe. Is when it's like, oh, I, like I started to believe. Yeah. 
watching these shows is not cool. And kids start like bringing their lunch in a paper sack instead of like a He Man lunchbox. Yes, exactly. So you're like, I have no idea what what television this kid watches because he's not advertising it on his lunch. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Maybe he just watches paper bag shows. I don't know. <laughs> He reads the freaking news. This kid yeah, just watches the news. On the paper. Nightly news. No, he reads the paper. He reads the paper and then wraps his fish in it. <laughs> for the next day's lunch. It's like smoked salmon. You know what year Snow White came out? Uh, Like 47 or something. Like insane like that. 1937. Oh, what the? Dude, that was pre-World War II. That was only 10 years after the first talkie came out, the first talking film. In Dude, talkies have been around for that long? I love those things. Yeah, talkies. <laughs> talkies. Talkies. Hot Cheetos and talkies. Hot Cheetos and talkies. <laughs> What's better, hot Cheetos or talkies? Because it's definitely hot Cheetos. I agree. That yeah, it's hot I feel like hot Cheetos were like, we're going to make a talkie for the masses or something like that, you know? I feel like talkies aren't even good. Yeah, I I would much rather just have a regular. I just didn't eat them. I just didn't eat them when I was a kid. I think so. It's hard to. Did they exist when we were kids? Not in not where I live. I don't. Flaming Hot Cheetos did not exist where I was when I was a kid. Ago, I mean, Flaming Hot Cheetos didn't exist. There were only two kinds of Cheetos. But I'm saying I think Takis are newer than Flaming Hot. What Cheetos, Cole? Crunchy and puffs. Oh. Yeah. Puffs. There is there Cheetos original puffs? Cheetos. The you don't know what Cheetos are the original puffs are? Ones. Yeah, they're the I original. I do know they are. I just can't believe it. It like didn't that come to mind. Yeah, exactly. Like you don't even because yeah. they're such garbage. Yeah. It's not even all right. Takis were invented <clears throat> in Mexico in nineteen ninety nine. Dude. Introduced in the US in two thousand four. Dude, think about what was happening in nineteen ninety nine. Like Everyone's all worried about Y2K, and they're like, nah, we're going to come out with a new kind of chip. In Mexico, though, they didn't, I don't think in they Mexico. had internet to down there. Cole, <laughs> Cole, mentioning. Did you have internet? Mentioning Cheeto Puffs as one of the Cheetos is kind of like saying uh, Pepsi, like naming all the Pepsi flavors and saying, oh, and of course there's Aquafina. No. Like, no. No way. No. Not even. Cheetos Puffs no, you original. can't name it. Yes, it's owned by the same company, but you can't no, you can't Cheetos, name it like it's one of the things. Cheetos existed. It is one of the things. Those that's the only thing that were Cheetos when they when they when Cheetos were invented. Those were them. It was Cheetos. Puffs then, were first. Yes. Yeah. Cheetos and then crunchy Cheetos. That's why they're no, called crunchy yeah. Cheetos. You're blowing my mind. No, that's not true. What? How do you not know this? Cheetos are the. Bill, Cheeto. You were there. Crunchy, the... gnarly, misshapen Cheetos are the Cheeto. Yeah, I agree with you now, but that is not where they started. Wow. How did they accidentally, secondarily come up with what we now know and love to be I mean, they Cheeto? didn't accidentally. Maybe they were racking their brains the whole time, and they were like, well, we got this piece of crap. We'll put this out <laughs> while, we're, while we're working on the next thing we're trying to do. You know those things that keep like glass from breaking in a box? You know those like foam things? Yeah. Well, we put Packing cheese peanuts. dust on it. And here you go. And while you eat these, we're going to come up with something way cooler. But in the meantime, Cheetos What's what's the best like chip if you could only have one chip or chip adjacent type thing? What would it be? Because I think mine might be Cheetos. Hmm. Um, this is really hard for me because I don't know. Like, I want to say, I want to say sweet and sour, la- or sweet and sour, sour cream and onion, onion. Lay's. That's, That's a good very answer. Good. Um, Phil, I mean, Cole, I have some bad news for you. And I. <gasps> oh, did Crunchy come out first? He's a liar. The original Crunchy Cheetos were in 1948. Holy crap, dude. The puffs again, didn't come out till 71. Again, I love that someone's like, hey, I'm glad Hitler's dead. Now we got to come up with a freaking crunchy snack to pair with our sandwiches, you know? 
<laughs> to Dang. pair with I, our sandwiches. I swear. <laughs> I thought the puffs were the first one. I think it's because our parents were like. Yeah, why did puffs? people like, like the puffs? puffs were like super why did people like then? puffs back then? Yeah, and you had like you? the big tub. You'd get like the big tub at. It's like Crystal Pepsi at Price Club or whatever. Did you guys have Price oh, but Club? I wonder when cheese puffs were invented. I think so. We had, um, we had Sam's Club. So we didn't have Costco or Sam's Club. I don't think. I think we just had Price Club. Mm. So Josiah, do you guys have Winco? No. Where I you know at? It yeah, I just went to Winco for the first time the other day. Okay. Um, go to the back. Next time you're there, Aaron, go to the back. Get the at the deli their fried chicken dinner. Mm-hmm. Holy crap! What's in it? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Obviously. That's what matters. Number one. Well, I mean, so why could I just not get the chicken by itself? Oh, you can, but like it comes with Hawaiian rolls and like potato well, salad. What I'm asking, what comes in the dinner? It's that it's inconsequential because what matters is the fried chicken. It's very good. All right, I'm just asking because you said to get the dinner and okay, now you're good. It sound I'm like glad I'm you're asking, Aaron. I'm advice. glad you're asking, and I am confirming that it does not matter. Okay, get the fried chicken dinner. Or just get the fried Don't chicken. Don't ask right? questions. Just get the dinner. Now, anyway. Okay, here's why I asked. Because I, like, I was at, hang on. Like I, was at, potatoes, I was at Winco good. the other day so, with my son. And you're me think they have like good sides too. I'm not making you think that because I told you, you are, it's you inconsequential. Listen now to my are. words. Listen to my words. It's inconsequential. And then you get the fried chicken dinner. dinner. You said dinner. The second yeah. You keep saying I did. Dinner. I did. I did, Aaron. It's not inconsequential because you keep mentioning it. Guys, don't fight. <laughs> anyway, we right. turn an aisle. I'm with my son, and he goes, <gasps> and I'm thinking, oh, oh no, he saw like a very large woman, handicapped uh, person. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Some somebody with a. I love all like, those those prosthetic. TikToks of people like me as a kid when I see a handicapped person and they're just like <laughs> staring from across the room. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. 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 So that's what I thought when I heard him gasp. And then I turned to see that he's staring at a giant, giant bucket of clear bucket of cheese balls. Like a barrel type thing? A ba- yeah, yeah. 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 Essentially a like a like a pony keg. Like a little Donkey yeah. Kong barrel. <laughs> and I was like, I go, no. And he goes, Dad, <laughs> let me spend my own money. And I was like, <laughs> Okay, fine. You're like, trust me, they taste like garbage. <laughs> <clears throat> he is very into them. And so I told him, I was like, dude, we got to put you on like a, like a, yeah. a regimen. Yeah, you got yeah, a ration. You, can't, <laughs> you cannot, you cannot just like mow these down. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to, it's going to jack you up real bad. Uh, but yeah, so we've got this comically large bucket of nice cheese balls cheese balls i started going which again are though. not good i mean they're i like cheeto puffs i'm not gonna i lie. don't i think i hate them really good Dude, you think they're really good aaron yeah they're legit good especially no. listen to me <laughs> they have this new line of of frito-lay products called like all natural or something yeah. and they have white cheddar cheetos puffs yeah. Those are freaking. Those are actually delicious. Good. I'll give you that. Okay, but They're like, incredible. oh, here's the question. Here's the question. Somebody brings to your house. Are you are you drinking milk? It's eggnog. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> There's no alcohol in it, is there? There is. There definitely. Did you see his face? There definitely is. Yeah. Um. I talked too soon after drinking. Um. So somebody brings over to your house uh, one puffs. of those con- – no, 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 no. One of those boxes of variety pack of yeah, yeah, chips. Sure. What is the first one to disappear, and what is the last? 
Now um, we all have for me, Fritos. Fritos are obviously the last. No, the last no. one is Cool Ranch Doritos. No, oh, barf. No, Aaron, you're both yeah. wrong. If I bought a, a pack of those, I would have Cool Ranch Doritos in the cabinet for months, unopened, until I got super desperate and I was like, I have to eat something. Everything okay, in I'm, there is good, but Fritos. Like okay, I'm lo- I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at it now. Are you ready? Are you talking about the regular pack? Yeah, tell us what's in it. Okay, here's the it's sour cream and onion, normal Lay's, barbecue Lay's, Cheetos, Cheetos and Fritos, Fritos. Okay, this is cheese Doritos. So and maybe maybe Ruffles. Cole, you're saying that pretty quickly. Uh, Are you a regular purchaser of the variety? Got packs one in of- my garage right now, and it has like eight bags of Fritos in it and nothing else. Oh damn it, Cole. Um, okay, so I'm looking at two that are different there's different styles yeah there's, there's the yeah, blue box yeah. yep. and there's the purple box and there's a red yep. one and a yellow one as well there's like different ones there's yep. the classics those, there's those don't the, count like flavor blaster one okay uh, let's okay so classic i'm looking at classic so here we go it's r- original ruffles okay classic lays okay um smart food white cheddar popcorn come on oh. Get out of here with that. Why is that in here? No, it's what what classic, classic are you looking at? I'm looking at the classic right now. Classic mix just has Fritos, sour cream and onion lays, ruffles, normal lays, Doritos, and Cheetos. <clears throat> this is what I'm looking at. This is Walmart, <laughs> and we know Walmart is the heartbeat of America. Ruffles original, Lay's classic, smart food popcorn, white cheddar, uh, Cheetos Crunchy, Funyuns, Fritos. What? This, Nobody no, has ever cool bought a variety Doritos. pack with Funyuns in it. No, it's Cole's right. It's Ruffles, Lay's, standard. Then you got Nacho Cheese Doritos, Cheesy Cheetos. Then you got Sour Cream and Onion Lay's and Fritos. Those are the yes, six. Those are the six in the normal variety pack. In the classic. Classic variety classic pack. Classic mix. This has eight. This one is eight flavors. Yeah, they added freaking Smart Puff, and you take that seriously? Yeah, that's ridiculous. So there's another, there's a couple, Thank okay, I see this one you're talking about. Nobody has ever bought a variety pack with Funyuns in it. Oh, I really <clears> love <throat> Funyuns, though. <laughs> okay, those those are, the, those are the ones we're talking about. There's two, the variety pack, the classic one. Uh, classic mix variety pack, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the one that has Lay's. Normal A's barbecue, cool ranch they Doritos. Have, like so many nah, different ones that are yeah. all called classic. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You can't call it classic if there's different. It's but like... we're not talking about weird crap. We're talking about standard, no funyuns. We're talking about you can you can add cool ranch Doritos, normal Doritos, Lay's barbecue Lay's, sour cream and onion Lay's, Ruffles, Fritos, and yeah. Cheetos, and that's it. I feel like sour cream and onion is the one I grab first, but only because there's always like two packs in there. Yeah. Like, I have so like in the in the packs. classic mix, there is eight Fritos, which is ridiculous. There's yeah, four really sour small. cream and onion, six Ruffles, six Lay's, 10 Doritos, and 16 Cheetos. That's crazy. Because Cheetos are the best. So uh, out of that pack, Phil, yes. what's... What were you gonna say is the thing left at the end, Phil? Can you can you put yours in the chat because I am seeing multiple classics. I'm gonna send you a link. You gotta look are at the, not you gotta look at the, the ones you're pack. saying. You gotta look at the fifty, 50 pack. pack. Okay. Don't look at the eighteen packs. I'm sending you a link right now. I was looking Phil, at the forty two. This pack. is like if I oh, yeah. This is like if I were to try and explain musical terrorism to you. Like I know <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong. I know from chip variety packs. No, but it is ridiculous that they have like three or four. And they're all, it doesn't make any sense. This is not my fault. This is not like smart food, white cheddar. We've had, we've had that box before with the smart food, white cheddar. And those things aren't terrible. No, they're onions. Yeah. Just, I don't like them. Popcorn is not a chip. I was just going to say, I hate Funyuns. I don't think I've ever eaten a Funyun because I just assume I would hate them. They're not the worst. They look terrible they're not my favorite like, they look like they shouldn't exist oh, dude cheetos so look good. like they shouldn't exist yeah cheetos i mean look like they're poops. not trying cheetos to look like poops but like this is like freeze-dried onion rings no they're extruded 
Okay. So this is See, I think make... I always thought I'm just realizing now. I always thought there was like something in them. No, they're like just an like onion puffs. They're just yeah, like they're just puff. puffs, but they're just in a circle. Yeah, they're just. Like I'm gonna puffs. go try they're... Funyuns now. That's my homework before the next. You're probably not gonna like it, but they're really good. They, they don't. They are like onion funions, rings. I don't love them. In they don't in taste texture. Like onion. They taste like onion flavor. In, in tex in texture, yeah, they onion are flavor. closest to a crunchy Cheeto. They're like in between a puff and a crunch of Cheeto. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A crunch of cheetos. They are like pretty greasy, which is like weirdly. Okay, so first That's of all, not surprising at all. Like I well, don't like like, like like most chips, they'll leave like a film in your mouth. Like in most chips. Oh, okay, mouth. okay. I don't yeah. like that the classic mix that that you guys sent me does not have Cool Ranch Doritos. That's not a classic. Yeah. It, it was on true the classic box I was classic. looking at, Aaron. It's it's true that it's not a classic, but I will allow it as a part of this discussion as far as like what's left at the end. For the purpose of this discussion, I will go off of the box that you that you both agreed on that is that I'm now looking at six flavors and you're both going to be very angry with me when I'm finished putting I'm these in order from from least to greatest. All right, Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Least. Classic Lay's. You asshole. I will least. You right now. <laughs> Second least. Ruffles original. I mean, that's. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Now, this is only because. You're just wrong again. How can you think way. Ruffles are better than Classic Lay's? Also, how can you think that because either I... of those are better than Fritos? Yeah. Okay, because, you know, well, I'm not going to. Hang on. So, first of all, I prefer Ruffles to Lay's because I like the crunchiness. I enjoy the crunchiness. I feel like that's not a crazy thing. I don't agree with it's, it, but it's not. Uh, but the the regular classic ones are crunchy enough that the extra flavor, the goodness of flavor, dude, in them is like they're practically far the Ruffles. They're practically two dimensional. They are not crunchy at all. They like yeah, almost chips. dissolve in your mouth you because they're so about? freaking thin. Yeah, it's amazing. No. Ruffles now, feel like they're made of paste. Now, it's third. Like paste shaped into a chip. Third, sour cream and onion because the flavor's dope as hell. Get out of here. Yeah, sour cream and onion slays, though. Okay. Yeah, sour now, cream and onion is near the top. Now, here's... You just don't like the texture of potato chips. Now, no, yeah. I... Because you're acting like you're, you're acting like Lay's. All the you're acting like Lay's are really weird, and that's literally every potato chip on the planet. No, unless like um, unless you're talking like some weird like, you okay, know, artis artisanal potato chips or whatever. You, you like only eat kettle chips. Yeah, exactly. I don't only eat Idiot. kettle chips. This is not me and beer at a party. <laughs> you're like no thanks. I brought my own kettle <laughs> chips. I'm good. Like oh, you don't have Miss Vicky's. <laughs> I'll pass. You don't have Miss Vicky's dill pickle chips. Ew. No. No way. Jalapeno. Okay. <laughs> now, if I'll tell you this. If we had some ruffles, some of the cheddar uh sour cream. Cheddar yeah, sour, sour cream. cream cheddar's dope. Ruffles. Hell yeah. Can I tell you this right now? Going you're, ham. You're gonna be very upset. Mm. Sour cream and Cheddar yeah. ruffles are ten thousand times better than Cool Ranch Doritos. False. Okay, I'm not done. It is true. I've still got three more to uh, to order here. Okay, so number four is Fritos. Um, number, so number three, five, and six. Oh yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Number two and one. <sighs> This is hard. Uh, Cheetos and uh, nacho cheese Doritos. Um, it depends on the day. It depends on the position of the moon. Um, depends on what you're eating them with, too, sometimes. And it's right? solstice. Yes, it depends on what I'm eating with. Uh, so um, it's it's any anyone's guess at any given moment. It's you, don't, you don't think so. Hear me out on this. Because I think nacho cheese Doritos twenty years ago were like perfect. Yeah, I, don't I feel like, like now. Anymore. 
they over promised and under delivered like yeah. nine out of ten times. Like they made the yeah, packaging I used, more red. They used <laughs> no, to be like very not, there's like hardly any powder on them. And then Cool Ranch is like yeah, over like, seasoned. Yeah. Like, oh, do you like salt? Because there's gonna be a whole lot of salt in your mouth. Yeah, I feel like nacho yeah. cheese Doritos are like I hadn't thought about that, but you know, I like used when you to go like to the movies and you get like they put the butter on the popcorn and then like you get to the bottom and there's no butter left. Like that's the Doritos yeah. they give you now. It's like they mixed them all like 20 years ago and these are just leftovers. It's it's sad. So so here's here's my also, ranking. Spicy nachos. Fritos like, are last, obviously. Above. No. Wild. Uh Fritos are awful. And then Fritos are not great alone. They have to like they they're like a good like base for things like yeah a, a dipper. Like so Fritos that. are terrible. And then honestly, just because the whole thing is good, I don't. I would take. Uh, I mean, honestly, now I would take pretty much everything over Doritos. Weirdly. Yeah. Wait. So are you saying it's Fritos is last? Doritos, and then Doritos, is second, maybe and then everything else crazy. is a four-way tie. <laughs> no, so then after that, I would put like Ruffles and Lay's together. I don't really care about the distinction there. And then I would say sour cream and onion second, and Cheetos first, maybe. But sour cream and onion, man, like if you're only eating chips by themselves, I'd probably go for those. Sour cream and onion is good. Or like, dude, yeah. like a turkey sandwich. Throw some sour cream and onion chips on. Yeah. There that's one thing that chips are better at than cheetos cheetos if you put them on a sandwich they make it harder to eat i like cheetos in a tuna sandwich weirdly yeah because Whoa. then it like forms around it yeah they don't fall out yeah and they kind of soften because like the tuna is like kind of wet but not not enough to like lose the crunch yeah and you get that thing where like the cheese kind of like mixes with the liquid and like almost forms like a cheese sauce yeah it like turns yeah. into the mac and cheese so yeah yeah cheetos all right here's mine although i like fritos they're gonna be last out of this pack they're yeah because the they good. suck if they were chili cheese fritos whole different story Ooh. oh Frito's so you're saying if you want like everyone within a hundred foot radius to be able to smell your breath <laughs> yeah like if i'm home alone I'm going to mash like a fun size bag of not a snack size, but like, you're the, like the I don't size. have any corn nuts on hand. So this is the best I got. You know, like you make go my to breath and have like the grab bag size. No, I know like not a full size bag, but not, not a not child a lunch, not the child's yeah. lunch size that we're talking about now. <laughs> you're like talking eight, about the it's like eight servings. of chips. Yeah, <laughs> it's not it's not a traditional chip bag. Yeah, it's. It's like you slightly get slightly smaller than that. You get a twenty ounce can of Dr Pepper and a, a grab bag of <laughs> of Fritos, and you eat half, and then you're like, "I'm gonna save the rest," and then you go grab it out of the cabinet and you finish it. Okay, Fritos are last, followed directly. I, I'm gonna say Ruffles are second to last. Yes. Then Doritos. No. Yeah. Then, hmm. Then I'm gonna go classic Lay's, crunchy Cheetos, sour cream and onion Lay's. Weird. Yeah, dude. How do you? I Cheetos and sour cream and onion are the elite of the package. Yeah, and the Cheeto. We you're so like weirdly against the texture of potato chip. Yeah, that's that's weird, Phil. Because that's like the no, most. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm American saying that, thing. Here's what I'm saying. I'm no, saying we're saying that, that you are weird because your list clearly shows that you don't like the texture of potato chips. No, and that's yeah. weird. Wrong. What are you talking put about? That's bottom. Ex- what you, you Listen, literally put them said, all on the bottom Lay's of the list. Classic. Literally here's the problem. With, I will tell you either. right. Let me let me say it. Here's what. Here's yeah, the, problem. the problem. With Lay's classic. Uh huh. The texture is the flavor and the texture. It's both. Boring. So why was sour and cream and onion cream all the way at the bottom of your list too? too? You put those below Fritos. No, and yes. you said it was because of the Fritos, texture. Fritos are more boring than 
sour cream and onion lays. But they're crunchy, bro. They're crunchy. This is what I'm, that's what we're saying. That you choose the texture. You don't like the texture. Yes, of exactly. Why do you the deny same. it? It's not. It's not like it's something wrong with you. It is weird. Like you don't have to change your opinion. I'm saying, get me some Casey masterpiece barbecue. And they, they go way up. Anymore. They don't make those anymore. You can't get them. They're just. I, l- I was now. just looking just at a barbecue freaking... now. Fine. It's just barbecue feel... now. It's awful. Barbecue. Think... I'm they saying barbecue. Barbecue chips are great though. Barbecue. Barbecue lays are high. Are high on my list. Barbecue lays are good, but Laura's because Scudder lays flavor are, are barbecue are maybe better. Flavor brings it brings up the lack of texture. In my yeah, mind. that's fine. That's fair. That's all I'm saying. But still, if you had like yeah. barbecue Lay's versus like barbecued Fritos, you would like so. But the, the flavor of the barbecue makes up for the detriment of the texture. In the that Lay's. is what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, you don't like the texture. It's not that I don't. It's that yes. it's boring. <laughs> What are you talking yeah, about, Phil? Saying- it's not that I don't like it. This is just why I don't like it. Why do you keep it's like that's a really weird thing to try and argue? It makes absolutely no sense. Like you're afraid to admit that you don't like the tech or like I'm you- not afraid. <laughs> you, I, th- I, don't, I don't think you're capable. Phil, of you're like a child. <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, I don't there's- dislike. It's not that I don't like it. I just think it's it just sucks. this is why I don't like it. No, you listen, you guys are you're you are you guys are overthinking this. I'm saying there's a difference between dislike and apathy. Right? Okay, do you like things that you are We're talking about comparing how much we like something and you like something yeah. the least, so that's not that that means you dislike it. <laughs> no. Here's why. You're so dumb. No, I'll tell you this. Let me let me explain. Yeah, Phil's got Coors to Light. Say. Coors Light. I Bad. don't. I don't feel apathetic towards it. I yeah. dislike it. And so, if given it as a choice, I will say no, thank you. Do you see what I'm saying? This is not the same. Yeah, but but in the framework of the conversation, like yeah, it's all comparative. So, like to argue that you that you that you don't not like it is. When you literally said they just melt in your mouth, they're I not don't crunchy. like the texture. They're boring. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did say they're boring. Those are, those are that's not apathetic terms. You literally okay. said I don't like the texture. <laughs> I don't Com- like. <laughs> Com- <laughs> those are your words. So stop saying it. Yeah, it's not like it's not like you hate them enough to like not eat them. But you definitely like that factors in. I don't hate. Like there are less. there's almost no food product I hate enough to not eat. <laughs> it doesn't mean I like them all. I've got yeah. there's got to be things that I was like, no, I will pass. Um, and I can't. Uh, bugles, I'll pass on bugles. Thank you yeah, very much. Bugles are gross. Oh, here, here's here's my okay. Again, bugles are I'm dumb. Always, they shouldn't exist. Coors Bud Light made puffs. Coors Bud Light. Corona, I'm always passing, no matter what, no matter how thirsty I am, I'm passing. I would but Corona. If Lay's Classic is sitting out like at a party in a yeah, bowl yeah. and there's an awesome dip there, I'm going I'm going nuts on it because the yeah. dip. Here's the thing because you, you don't like the there's texture, dip, but you do like the dip. If there's dip, I'm taking ruffles over classic. Well yeah. duh. Yes. Just for but structural with no integrity. Dip, I'm taking classic over ruffles. Hmm. I don't know. It's a it's a toss up for me. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Ruffles has like a weird like fakeness to it that kind of doesn't bother me with the sour cream and cheddar, but does with the plain. Okay, now I only I only consume chips in little bags, so that partially informs. Like, this is the only way that I consume chips like this, other than tortilla chips. I eat a lot of tortilla chips. Or I eat tortilla chips out of big bags. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. But I think ruffles, right. if you're talking about, like, taking a huge old handful or, like, putting a bunch on a plate. Yeah. Part of it is, like, they start to kind of tear up your mouth like Cheetos do. Or Doritos, especially. Doritos kind of 
wear out the sides of your mouth, right? Yeah, like cocoa. You be puffs, careful like not they to scrape and crunch. They, I, I, yeah, Captain they, Crunch is the worst, dude. They sandpaper the inside of your mouth. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now, I don't know if this how mad this is gonna make both of both of you, but look up the ingredients for Fritos. No. Okay. Why? Can't use Fritos. It's not gonna make me mad. It's just corn. Yeah, corn. Yeah, exactly. Corn and vegetable oil and salt. What do you mean Isn't exactly? that crazy? That is doesn't crazy. It seem, Look up the doesn't it seem like it would be Lay's Lay's, or, Lay's is just potatoes and vegetable oil and salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like Lay's you can actually see potato-ness in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, like corn is just cornmeal. Like it's just Fritos are just cornmeal and then shaped into something. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I get what you're seems... saying. They didn't take like potato flakes and shit. Like that's what Pringles are. That's though. what ruffles are. Yeah, that's what ruffles are. Yeah, exactly. Are ruffles just like Pringles? I mean, basically. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. Oh, they're certainly not a potato. They're not. Like, look at the ingredients. Cut. They have, There's they're skim the exact milk. Same ingredients as. Oh no! Wait. Okay. As, I'm sorry. I was looking at the sour cream and onion. As Lay's, potatoes, yeah. vegetable oil, and salt. But I don't oh, think they take okay. slices of but potatoes it's and press them. No, it's like no, it's like it's, like it's got to be like powder. Yeah, yeah, they got they like press all the leftover like, or whatever mashed potatoes and made them into chips. They're definitely extruded. That's why they're all like roughly the same shape. <laughs> yeah, roughly. get it? Because they're ruffles. Ruff- okay, here's here's n- now we get into like the secondary chips. If you if you have a lot, if you're at like a grocery store aisle and you have a lot of chips to choose from. Mm. What are you going for? You're getting ready to go to like a Super Bowl, the big game. Sorry, okay. guys. I don't I want to get say, demonetized. Easy, easy. Depends, on, easy. Like, depends on what the context is. But you're going to Super Bowl party. You know that you're, or heck, like you're going to be sitting at home by yourself watching whatever you watch, Phil. Watching sports if you're a real man. You're going or watching to a ballet Super or whatever you. <laughs> you're going to be watching Real Housewives marathon. Like you're going to be watching to- something. You're going to be sitting down for two hours. You're going to a Super Bowl party at Snoop Dogg's house. You want a bag of chips that you can snack on. What are you getting? You're going to go watch all the Fast and the Furious movies with Snoop Dogg and um, Willie Nelson. No, screw Snoop Dogg. That dude sucks. He's a sellout. Um, He got his. He doesn't live in Long Beach anymore. He lives in like Calabasas or something. I take, if there's ever an option of jalapeno chips, that's what I will choose no matter what. Interesting. Ooh, which I feel like is a pretty common thing. Maybe not, but I feel like it's. That's not my choice. Like, I like them. I love jalapeno as a flavor, though. I like jalapeno chips with a sandwich. Yeah. But not necessarily just like as a chip. Yeah, you know what? Like... Actually, now that you say that, that's on. that's a valid point. Like I, I don't think I would want to like eat a Jimmy bag. John's or Subway yeah, yeah, or yeah, any yeah, of that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Mm. Jersey Mike's. Are you choosing like a weird? Okay. I here's. I'm gonna do go you guys with like like sour cream and cheddar ruffles are like one of my go tos. Do you guys like Sun Chips? No. I feel like Sun Chips are criminally overrated. I think the cheddar ones are okay. Maybe they're not overrated anymore. I feel like when we were. You know, fifteen years ago, yeah, they would sun put chips like the, were like the thing in, in the classic packs. Like, yeah, what? yeah, oh. totally. What frustrates oh. me is that like sun chips feel like in my mind is like, oh, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna buy chips for our children. We're gonna buy a healthy choice, which is we're such gonna a... buy sun chips, and it's like, no, they're not freaking. Yeah, that's identical. <laughs> It's yeah. like when people think Gatorade is good for you. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Sun chips and Gatorade. <laughs> for, yeah, that's like the perfect after your soccer game. Sun chips and Gatorade. This will Here's the ingredients. Whole corn, sunflower oil, whole wheat, brown rice flour, whole oat flour, sugar. Sugar. This is the original flavor. They're adding sugar. Salt <laughs> and natural flavor. I'm sorry. That's, there's no okay, way that's here's... healthier than potato oil and salt. 
was the Here's first a crazy ingredient thing. you said Hulk? Hulkorn. 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 <laughs> okay, so I'm just realizing Hulk now smash. the reason they're called sun chips is because they're fried in sunflower seed oil, right? Oh, yeah. Sunflower oil. That's is that is why that they're... Because of the magic of the sun? That has to be the thing. I mean, the sun creates corn, too. <laughs> but this, in the ingredients list, it says sunflower and or canola oil. <laughs> I feel like you should know that, right? And or. Mm-hmm. It's like sometimes we make them with... <laughs> With canola oil. Canola oil also called what? Uh, corn oil. Nope. Rapeseed oil. Yikes. Interestingly enough. That's why they call it canola oil. <laughs> yeah. Or wait, is canola made from soy? Same reason they started calling Brazil nuts filberts instead of the old name. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Sun sh- I want. I want to find out why sun chips are called what they are. No, no, never mind. Canola oil is, is made from crushed canola seeds. Okay. Uh, I don't know what canola Aaron, is. you just reminded me of something. Okay. Here's here's something you probably didn't expect. On the Wikipedia page for Sun Chips, one of the headings is noise complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. That's weird. Uh, okay. So just yesterday, uh, my my freshman, I can't remember how it came up, but we were talking about internet memes and like the the kids were talk, like started talking about like the greatest funny videos of all time. And I was like, okay, obviously the squishing grapes lady is in the running at least. And stomping none, grapes, stomping. Yeah. Stomping grapes. And like all 36 kids, they were like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, we're watching it right now. And I pulled it up on my big screen and then got to witness 36 sets of eyeballs. Watch it for the first the watch first it here. Time. Did they love it here, though? Wait, they they were, I, I missed something. Sorry. The, uh, stomping grapes video. Yeah. Oh, the stomping. Okay. Grapes lady. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's they deeper. Were, Phil. Wow. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's not that fast. You're doing it too fast. Get the sound effects right. Oh, man. They were like... I think she's really hurt. Yeah, and then it cuts to the... <laughs> I love it. Ooh. Oh, wow. I think she's really hurt. Ah, I think she's really hurt. Mm. Man, that you one... Sounded like, you sounded like Pee Wee Herman dying in... <laughs> in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, that's... Ah. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Mm. The other one I showed them was... Uh, Pinky the cat, Placer County Animal Shelter. I don't know that one. Ooh. What? Pinky the cat? Is that the cat got, that's like a terrorist? You guys need to. If you haven't seen it, you need to. Cole, pull it up. Pull yeah, I've seen screen. that one. It's like the sheriff that's sitting outside, <laughs> and the cat's just like <laughs> going nuts on him. He gets stuck no, on his leg. He's, he's like stuck on his pants and everything. Yes. He's saying he's saying this wonderful cat is is up for adoption. Yeah, they're like doing an they're doing an adoption whatever like you know drive or <clears throat> yeah it's pretty amazing. Pinky, Pinky, no. <laughs> Man, I feel it looks, like it. It probably does not, but it looks like it just takes a big chomp out of his nether region. Yeah, it bites like this <laughs> side. It bites like the inside of his thigh. And he's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, he gets so pissed. It's so because you can tell he's like trying so hard not to. Because that's like Keep the whole reason composure. they're there. He's like, hey, somebody adopt this cat that I hate that I want to murder right now. <clears throat> I know. Oh, yes. The opposite just, of a commercial. Just kill it. It's just a cat. It's I feel so like it's got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's like that, that norm bit. <laughs> Bad news is your cat has cancer. The good news is just a cat. <laughs> it's like, it's like this surgery is going to cost 500 bucks. He's like, I could buy 50 more cats with that much money. <laughs> uh, oh, I feel cat. like if, if I made a list of, of top viral videos, I've actually been trying to come up with some, I've been looking for like software to do this. There's gotta be something, but <laughs> to rank my uh, top albums of all time, mm. but uh, it'd be fun to do a list of best viral videos of all time. And I bet a lot of the top would be 
news bloopers. They're timeless is the thing. They don't rely on like pop culture references and Yeah, well, yeah. I think the... And because they're never staged because somebody's yeah, like yeah, yeah. job is at risk, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that the part of what's great about news bloopers is that there's also somebody you get to witness a person who is supposed to be keeping their composure. Mm. Yeah, totally. Like their job is at risk. That's why it's not fake, like you said. But then also, like their job is also at risk. They're they're being paid to like be composed and just give the story. And now things are going south, and they're supposed to continue yeah. keeping it together. And when you see them like succeed at doing that, even though it's a struggle, it's funny. When you see them break, that's also funny. So this is this is one of the first viral videos I remember seeing, and it's the guy that runs into the side of the pommel horse. I don't I don't think it's a, <laughs> it's like a it's the it's the horse that's like going like lengthwise, and you run yeah. into it and like jump off of it or whatever. It's for the vault. Yeah, and he just <laughs> runs <laughs> he runs into it so hard and dust like that's the best. Cause it has like the chalk all over the top of it and on his hands. So when he hits it, this dust cloud what? goes up. He hits it oh, so I've hard. Seen that. And I, I saw this in high school. So this was like very, well, and you can tell by the quality. Oh, like he like missed the. Yeah. He, the, his foot slides off, his foot yeah. slides off the side of the, the jump thing or off yeah. the front of it. The trampoline. And he hits it so hard and I could in just watch chest. it all day. Oh my god. He folds around it. He folds. Oh. oh that is so sad. Okay, that one's up there. Yes, good. <laughs> and that and that's like I remember watching it in high and I can't remember what sites. I'm sure they don't still exist. But like E Bombs World is one of them, yeah. I guess. It was yeah. definitely like, that was definitely an E Bombs like I remember polish, another polish video of a guy jumping over like a ditch on his bike and when he lands the front tire just like folds. Oh yeah, yeah, and he eats it, and I've never been able to find it. I but vaguely remember that it made me laugh so hard. John <laughs> Dacre has to be up there too. John Dacre around. singing, uh, "Christ the Lord is risen today." I don't know that. You guys, I mean, okay, that means nothing. I feel to me. like okay, so okay, now that you brought that up, I, I'm, I, I feel like there are some ones that I, I, I'm kind of biased because because I was raised evangelical that like the, the man and the two women singing. And then when the man starts break dancing, it's clearly in a church. And, uh, that sounds that too one, staged. N it is not, it's, they think they're doing something very cool and it is thoroughly not cool. Although He's a very. Is it the guy? Is it the guy? Is he dancer. wearing white? No, this isn't it. Yeah, I'm trying They're to think. Is the renewed life is the key with the power and the name. <laughs> na, 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 na. Have you seen the na, one na, where that dude trying to like? Me. He's like in church and he's like trying to break the chains that are like. He's like standing on a piece of plywood with like chains. Yes, tied to it and wrapped around him. It's like chains and duct tape and all kinds. And and he's like, and it just takes not, him like forever to yeah. to, to get a little bit loose. We I feel like we need oh, to start so doing a ranking because another one that I feel like is really hard to beat is the ladder on QVC. Oh, um, yes. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. The, yes. the ladder that's like the little giant, so it's like he has yeah. it set up flat. And he's like, he because hits it and it, now it drops in. a tiny bit. And they're like, oh, now it's locked in. And then he just <laughs> gets folded in half backwards. Oh, my gosh. Because there's another one. there's another ladder one where the dude just like falls off. Like he's going up just a ladder against a wall and falls <laughs> off of it, which is also pretty funny. But that one where the dude folds the ladder in half is just unbeatable. I'm surprised you guys haven't seen... John Dacre, though. John Dacre is not in my wheelhouse. Of... I've made 55 years. What's that? It's not something that I know about. I was going to say. You're, I was to you're quiet. Say you're kind of quiet. Oh, here. sorry, sorry, sorry. Am I less quiet? Turn up your volume a little bit, though. Pump it so up. So this is John. This town, 
Oh, I do know this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah this one. I didn't know it by the name. <laughs> this is very good. John Daker. <laughs> Is risen today. Lord is risen. Okay. Why now? See, is that Especially good? Not this church is that good because, like, you have the, because the of only your... downside of it is you're like you're laughing at a guy who is, as far as we can tell, is genuinely trying to do a good job, and he's doing such a bad job yeah. that you're kind of punching down, right? Like, if it was freaking Donald Trump or something, it would be a lot funnier because you wouldn't feel bad at all. <laughs> what aspect oh it's just because your windows <laughs> the renewed life is the key mm -hmm. i have seen this one too now that i think about it now, what were you like, gonna say I though phil it... like why is it funny <laughs> you didn't share your sound oh crap <laughs> yeah we're just That's watching okay, these people gyrate uh, oh, i feel like this yeah A renewed mind is the key. I've never seen that video. What's that other one? The Sunseed one, where it's that's the name of the band, the Sunseed, and yeah, that yeah, like, Jesus is my friend. Yeah, yeah. Where where's this stupid sound? Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a you friend have in stop. Jesus. You might have to stop sharing. I think you can do it while you're sharing, but the renewed mind is the key. It's when you share. There's a checkbox at the bottom. When you share. Hey guys. Yeah. You know what else has a checkbox at the bottom? <laughs> friendship. Your butt. Oh. Yep. Thanks for friendship. And thanks for friendship. Go check out Renewed Mind is the Key. <laughs> Okay, Aaron, you just need to, it's the guys dancing. There's a lot of videos of white people doing hip hop dancing in the 90s. That is very embarrassing. Do you think this is like a, this is like a traveling team, right? That like goes to different churches. And it must be. Does this act? Cause like there's no church, there's no like, they would have had to practice so much to just perform at once in front of their own church. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like and clearly wait, just wait for this guy to start to, the to cut loose. Because, like, they're good. Like, they're performing all the dance moves they intended to perform very well. Yeah. <laughs> right? Wait, Like, wait, they're wait. succeeding. They're, they're succeeding in what they're doing. Just what they're doing is very bad. Yeah. But you know, people love it because they're like, oh, oh yeah. A bunch of white people in 1991. Seen anything cool. They're like, now this is good music. Now no, this, no, that rap. Now this is the kind of music that Jesus would like. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Not singing about butts. 
Is it weird that he looks exactly like Christian Bale from American yeah, Psycho? Yeah, he does from American <laughs> Psycho, dude. He looks way too much like him. His hair's a little long in the back, but yeah. Otherwise. Also, the blonde chick is like... Yeah. For 1991, especially, like, if you post hubba, 90s hubba. off her <laughs> real quick. Okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, he's popping and locking. <laughs> Dude, it reminds me of the the freaking the dance that Charlie does. <laughs> this is my favorite. Part. The... <laughs> yeah. Oh no! His uh, facial expressions, yes, are so terrible though he's to not go because again, like he's good at doing all the stuff that he's doing. Like he's actually yes. good at it. He's, he's good at what he's doing. But he should never have that facial expression. And he's also just wearing, like, the cheesiest suit. Matching with, like, probably his mom and sister or his mom and wife. Or maybe he's the the son-in-law. The thing I'm... The thing it reminds me of is the Charlie... uh, The the freaking dance they do at the beginning of the the girls... And Always Sunny when they're doing the little pageant. Mm. 